Okay, happy Mother's Day, everybody. Today is the day that I decided that I'm going to move into the Airstream and I'm going to live off grid for the next couple of days. I'm going to bring you along with me so I can show you how to live off grid in your RV. So stay tuned. We've got a lot of stuff that we're going to cover this week. So subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can come back and watch those videos when I post them this week. some of the things that i'm gathering because now i'm in the house and i'm moving into the airstream so i've been washing with water is i'm bringing spray vinegar important for washing dishes my aquabot you watch my videos i use this for washing because what you do is you pump this and then i can rinse dishes off you can also use this as a bidet if you needed to so it's good to have two of these. I'll probably order another one at some time, at some point, because this is great for off-grid. I'm using this a lot. This is what I wash my dishes with. I have this detergent here, which is just an old container, and it's really watered down, this detergent, because the last thing you want is thick, concentrated soap, and you're gonna have to use more water. So it has to be very thin. But what I do is after my dishes dry, I wipe them down with a little bit of vinegar at the end, just to make sure that I sterilize them with vinegar so these are dry and i'll be doing that and then i'm going to be moving into the airstream now so i'm starting to collect all the things that i'm going to be bringing into the airstream to live with me for the next three days i'm also going to be bringing some water jugs in there i have some water jugs here that i've been storing lots of water some of them are empty i've already used them but there's more way in the back so i'll be bringing some of these with me into the airstream because i'm going to need water in there for cooking and cleaning and all sorts of things i'm bringing my jackery with me as well um, i just charged it up so I'm bringing that with me. That's going to be my main source of power. Okay, so I've been in the house and I use this in my truck camper for brushing my teeth. And I use a little cup to rinse my mouth off when I brush my teeth. So I'll be bringing this also. I'm gonna collect this now. I'm gonna bring this into the Airstream as well. And here is the, a, the big one that I'm using for my shower is I'm using the same thing I use in my Airstream. I'm using a bucket. This is a collapsible bucket and uh, this is a water pump and it charges recharges and then i have my rinse off over here so i'll be bringing this with me as well this is how i'm going to shower the next thing you're probably wondering how does she pee and poop okay so the toilet is closed because i'm not allowed to poop in there at all so that's my pee jug you can see it's a big wide mouth okay and i will do a video on this when i get to the airstream i have to use is the bucket today so I have a bucket of peat moss in the Airstream, and that's what I'm going to be using to poop. Battery packs that I can charge up with my Dockery. You can see them here. These are the little mini ones. I can also use these to charge my phone, have it by my bed at night. So I'm going to be bringing those with me as well. And I also have this fan that I can bring into the RV at night. I can take this fan and I can run it with my jacket. Hey guys, I'm just going to give you an idea of what it's like living on this house, quarantine by myself on three acres. Because you're all probably wondering like how does she live there but i'm really happy living here i'm actually doing lots of projects because today i don't have any water on my property i have no water on my property and something's wrong with my well that means i'm going to be a couple of days without water but i'm okay because my truck camper is still full of water so i can use the water from there and i also went out today and purchased some drinking water and i always have water stocked up in my garage i have a couple of uh, jugs in there um, or like two gallon jugs and I have the six gallons so I'm good so anyways but I'm gonna make a potting area over here so it's gonna be like a potting area here and then I'm gonna have a rocket stove that I built back in Fort Lauderdale when I lived there in the other house before I left I built a rocket stove out of bricks and but I don't really plan on cooking on it a lot it's just more like if I want to boil water or make coffee or tea or you know things like that because I have a solar oven so are the days that there's no Sun I can use that for cooking in so I want to be able to be sustainable on the property that was my original intentions to be here and then I've kind of like been lazy because I've been RVing and traveling but I'm I'm good this is going to be my pit um, only because we were using this when we did the pavers 
we have this huge pit back here in the back of the property and this is going to be a perfect place for putting peat moss and poop if i have to an emergency situation like where do i put my stuff okay i can just throw it in here which is fine because once it rains it's going to flood and it's going to decompose and um that's what's going to happen so that i'm doing there the pee i just put it in a jug and then i just throw it outside so i'm not a medication i don't take anything so i'm okay with that what i do is once that um poop eventually decomposes i can use that for my flowers and my flower bed tomorrow what i'm going to do is i'm going to move those pavers and then this way i can park my camper um, i want to be able to park my camper next to the airstream kind of like at an angle so that i can start using the solar over there because if um the power ever goes out or even if it does i could really use the solar it's coming in there for free so why am i not going to use it i'm thinking duh i can charge stuff over there my bill would be way less in the summertime now with the air conditioning on so that's something that i'm planning on doing okay so over here where my garden is i put a container with an old fire pit cover because it has mesh on it so i don't want any i want i want to be able to use this water for plants if my water ever goes out so and then i also have this one this one i use mostly for the compost so you can see the water's black because i don't have a mesh on it so i have to get a mesh for that and put some chlorine in there so here's my tomato racks and my my garden's coming along uh, i didn't do the whole garden so you can see i planted the back rows first and then in three weeks i plant more in the front so that i can have fruits or vegetables all year long so i still have to put more holes there and plant more and then that whole section here i haven't planted this one's doing well those are growing going along so uh, let's see what else is left to do i think this chair i also have to do like a touch up of the brown paint yes i have to touch up the brown paint on this chair and that one so i have enough paint for that scraped these chairs because these chairs also need to be painted so tomorrow what i'm going to do i did bring a crowbar i have it there in the porch so all of those uh, pavers are going to be moved over here over here then i'm going to build a potting area here then that so one of the things that i'm doing is i dehydrate a lot of my foods in my excalibur as you can see down here i have an excalibur and i like to dehydrate a lot of things and I've been doing this for a year because I've been a prepper. So like I have strawberries that I dehydrate and I love to eat these in my cereal in the morning. So I'm going to be doing some of those today. I also have pineapples are great if you can get pineapples for like 99 cents. Sometimes I can get them in Florida. I can do three jars like this with pineapple. And so what today happened was I went to the store and some stores are selling their produce really cheap because I guess people are not buying as much. So I got this whole pack of bananas, this whole pack for 45 cents. Got tons of these. So I thought, wow, that's gonna be great. These are gonna be very pliable bananas, but I love snacking with them. The other thing I like doing is making fruit leathers. So I'm going to take a couple of these and I'm going to um, put them in my dehydrator trays. These are what the Excalibur dehydrator trays look like. I'm gonna slice them, I'm gonna put them here. And then I'm going to take some strawberries, which I also have, and some blueberries. And I'm going to mix that in my Vitamix with the banana. And then I'm going to make a fruit leather. So I love snacking. And these are natural snacks that you can eat. Laundry room, I have my Excalibur. You can see that I have the bananas in here, the fruit leather here. And I got, I was able to get two fruit leathers and, and I was able to get three um, bananas. No water, so I've been filling up my Aquabot and washing dishes with my Aquabot. And then tomorrow morning, before I put the dishes away, I give it a once over with the paper towel with some vinegar just to make sure everything is nice and clean and everything is rinsed off. So that's how I'm dealing with no water. Mm. And there's my jug so that I can fill up my Aquabot. So it's great to have this. So I'm pretty much prepared for everything because of hurricanes here in Florida. So this way I know that whatever I do in my truck camper, off grid, I can also do it at home off grid. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Stickers!
Get your